Today we are going to describe the SmartRise C4 construction mode and KEB F5 startup procedure. I'm Tom Hillpot. I'm here at 60 Front Street in uh, the Dumbo neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. The controllers are SmartRise C4 with KEB F5 drives with an LCD operator and an R6 regen unit. The machines are Imperial Permanent Magnet Motors, 525 machine, 500 foot a minute. To do this, we need the mainline motor, brake, and encoder wired. Refer to your job prints for the C4 construction jumper page. On the KEB drive, confirm the motor data is entered correctly. From the home screen, we need to go to Program, Motor Data, Motor Speed, Motor Current, Motor Frequency, Motor Voltage, and Motor Torque. The first thing we need to do is a motor learn function. From the home screen, we press program, tune parameters, enter, enter motor tuning, enter again, to start, press enter. Now on the controller side, we need to enable tune. Okay, now that the drive is in motor learn mode, we need to enable the drive and prevent the brake from lifting. To do that with a C4 controller, we put the car on construction by inspection switch and the construction jumper on CM. The next thing we do is toggle A6 dip switch. Motor tuning will take two to five minutes to complete. During the self-tune, the drive is taking measurements for the inductance and resistance. Calculation complete and waiting for me to turn off dip switch six. Press escape to return to the home screen. Now that the motor learn procedure has been done, we'll check that the values have been recorded by the drive. From the home screen, go to program. Go to motor data and go to LM 20 and 21. And we see that the inductance was measured at 5.60 millihenries and the resistance in 21 was measured at 0 0.460 ohms. When the drive is new, those values are one. So if the drive didn't complete this properly, you won't see those change from one. So you generally do these one after another. You do the motor learn, then you go never move the car and go right back into the, the SPI. The second thing we need to do is a static pole identification called SPI. From the home screen, we press program, tune parameters, down to SPI, enter, enter again, start, and enter. On the controller side, we need to enable the tune. So again, we have the construction jumper on, the controller on inspection in the construction mode. So we go to A6 and toggle A6. Okay, when it's finished, we turn off A6 and wait for it to tell us to synchronize the encoder. The encoder synchronization requires you to move the car in a direction and the drive will self-adjust itself. 
This can be done manually. So I will say no to this question. Now that we have the motor learned and encoder pole position done, we're ready to run the car. I have the car set to run at inspection speed at 10 foot a minute. We'll confirm that the controller is running at 10 foot a minute and the drive is running at 10 foot a minute. So we will leave the car on construction, use the inspection buttons on the controller to move the car in the down direction by pushing the enable and the down direction button. The commanded speed is 10 foot a minute. The car is moving in the proper direction and the drive says we're running 10 foot a minute. When we finish the SPI Learn and move the car, the direction may be backwards. To reverse the direction of the car, we need to go to encoder data, go down to LE03, enter, and there's several options. The standard default will be not inverted. If the car is running in the opposite direction, go to number two and select inverted rotation. Once you do that, the car will now run in the opposite direction. So we did a motor learn and an SPI learn with the C4 controller. The car is now ready to run on inspection mode.